here and welcome back to my channel where everything's awkward and introductions aren't needed. So if you've been following me, you know that right now I'm going down the line of hella hot hot sauces. They have badass labels and are the self-proclaimed Ben and Jerry's of the hot sauce world, which I for one am incredibly excited about because the weirder, the stranger, the more unique, the more I like it. And to be completely honest, the thing that turned me on to these sauces in the first place was the fact that they reminded me a lot of sideshow art. Uh, for example, Frank Show Deluxe would be a pretty good example of that. The other sauces that they have in their lineup, Florida Heat, hella hot hot sauce. Florida Franks, Florida Heat. Cajun Tears, love the artwork on these bottles by the by. Brain Jerk, look at that one, it's a pretty cool label too. Girl of Death Grip. Jalapeno cucumber. Now, with sauces like this, as you know, if you've been following me, I have a hard time trying to decide what to sample. Now, there's one other sauce in this lineup that I sampled yesterday. You're gonna have to go back in time and find that review. It's called the North North Nor Caliente, and it had ants in it. Straight up black ants. You wanna watch me eat black ants? Go back in time to my other video. Anyway, I've got all these beautiful sauces here to sample. And I'm only gonna pick one for today, but I can't decide. So I wanted to call in my beautiful youngest daughter, Willow, to help me decide which sauce we're gonna be reviewing on this beautiful Saturday. Hey, my baby. Hi. Hi. Here, let me squat that down some. Yeah, I'm a little bit tiny. I'm a little midget here. All right, little midget. I guess the best we got is a floating head today. So which one do you choose? And choose wisely. I'm scared. <laughs> You're scared. I'm the one sample. Are you gonna sample it? Oh heck no. Why, heck is no. Why is it so watery? Like this one's so watery. Uh, no. So Pick one. Pick here one. are two. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to decide this one for you to try or this one. Garlic death grip or brain jerk? This is not all of those brain jerk. Brain jerk. Brain jerk! Alright. Thank you very much, my lovely assistant. Are you sure you don't want a sample? No. <laughs> All right then. No doubt. Let's see what's in here. Check out the label. Pretty cool. Bye, baby. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> after searching the world, after searching the world over for the best hot sauce, we decided to obey our own irresponsible irresistible urge to create a hot sauce like none other. Recipes flowed and the people all spoke. I'll take one of each. Ingredients, orange, orange juice, distilled water, red bell pepper, African bird's eye pepper, habanero, shallot, distilled vinegar, coconut oil, chipotle powder, lemon sea salt, garlic, herbs, and spices. Again, these guys are self-proclaimed Ben and Jerry's of the hot sauce world, which I think is bomb. And I'm always drawn to the unique and interesting and unusual, which is a lot of the reason that I was drawn to these guys in the first place. So I'm really excited to give this a shot and I'm, I'm imagining it's gonna be really sweet considering we're talking about orange and orange juice is the first two ingredients. However, got hot right there on the label. So <laughs> uh, it can only be so sweet. All right, so let's, no, hold on though, I can get in this one. Yeah, you are no match for me. Take that. All right, look in there. That looks really good. That almost looks like a dressing. Let me put it in the camera hole so you can see it too. Check that out. Looks like a lot of herbs in there to me, which I really like. If I can get it into focus, there we go. That's about as good as I think it's gonna get. But yeah, look at that. It's kind of thick, creamy, herby, herby, spicy, likey, likey. What you smell like? Girl, how you smell? Oh, interesting. <laughs> I'm a little stool here now. Hold on, let's, let's get intimate for a second. That seriously, the bell pepper is overwhelming. And that's not usual. I smell a lot of the bell pepper in there. 
I want to say there's something that reminds me of like a seafood restaurant. <laughs> I was looking to see if like I could remember if there were any types of other ingredients that would be that. That sea salt is not it though. Oh, I like the smell. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. If this is anything like the one from yesterday with the ants in it, it'll be a memorable experience to say the least. So let's see how she pours. Ooh, creamy looking, thick. I shouldn't have done that much, but I did. Go big or go home. I see little bits. This is kind of like the one from yesterday where there's a lot of gardeny product in there, but it's not all minced up. It's a little chunky. Normally I'm not a fan of that, but after yesterday I was digging it. All right, let's give it a shot. Spicier than I was expecting. I was playing with the consistency too long. <laughs> I was trying to hold it together. It's hot, but it's creamy. What is the thing in it that reminds me of a seafood restaurant? It's like a rumelade sauce or something. But it's really good. It is really, really good. It's hot. It's creamy. It's really good. I would put it on seafood. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm going for here. And again, I like the little chunkies in it. It burns a little bit more in the stomach than yesterday's did, but not as much on my mouth and on my tongue. Probably because there aren't any habaneros in this bad boy. The smell of it is... There are habaneros in it, you think it's... It's really good. The consistency texture of it is really creamy. But then we've also got the little bits of the vegetables and and peppers in there it's actually really good yeah that's pretty doggone good what is going on I like now that there's a garlic thing happening it's like a Willy Wonka gobstopper it does burn a lot actually what is this is that why it's a brain jerk I don't, ironically enough, I taste no orange juice. No orange, no orange juice, but I am starting to get the sweats because it is hot as crap. Holy, holy my daughters are here. Oh my gosh, that's hot. And it's only getting hotter. Ow. <laughs> Not a bad ow, but a be careful ow. But you look so soft and creamy. <laughs> You smell so nice. Huh. I like it. It is really hot though, but I do think it would be really good once you mix it into like some fish or um, some sort of seafood. I think that it would be a really good mix with that. It's really good, really, really good. So if you're into jerk sauce, you're into really hot sauce, cause this is pretty hot. And uh, something a little bit different and out of the usual, this is definitely your sauce for sure. So check out www.hellahothotsauce.com. And thank you for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. God bless. Y'all take care. And holy mother, it's hot. Whew. God bless. Thanks for joining. I gotta go extinguish myself.